Hi everyone, I'm Namya. And I'm Maria. And we're here to showcase you what we've built in Minecraft, that is exactly the place we are at right now, Peace Pala. So before that, we would like to give a short introduction about ourselves to you. So I'm Namya Joshi, and I'm currently studying at grade 10 at South Paul Middle School in India, and I'm here for an internship for creating Peace Pala into Minecraft. Uh, I'm Maria Makinen. Um, I'm studying in Hartland Yhtenäis School um, in Finland, and I came here to build this peace bell in Minecraft. So thank you so much, Maria, for that. And uh, before we start, I would like to showcase uh, and tell you why we have built this into Minecraft. So like it's easy for everybody to come here and you know like go ahead explore the place, but not everybody like can come to Finland and can see what exactly is Peace Pala all about. So for the accessibility of people to come ahead and see what exactly Peace Pala is, we have built the entire thing that is work in progress into Minecraft. So here people can come, connect with each other. So like when we went camping and canoeing, there were people from Finland, from UK, from India, and all of them were there connecting with each other. Similarly, here we can have a virtual mode of Peace Pala. People can connect and talk to each other. And another thing is that we want to equip esports into this world. Now, how is that possible is, let's say, we have two teams. Uh, let's say red and blue, and uh, 10 members in each team. So uh, why we said this work is forever work in progress is because we'll be giving them tasks. So like instru instructor is giving a task that you have to build a certain thing in a certain time. And then in the end, like in esports in Minecraft, the points are given through armor stands. So let's say team green uh, gets 11 and team blue gets uh, 12. So team blue wins. So similarly, we will get the spirit of sportsmanship through esports in Peace Pala. So here we are also doing the activities, also connecting with each other and then also playing games. So let's give you a short overview of what we have built. Here, as you can see, is the camping site. And uh, it's currently raining, but I guess it's OK. So uh, we can see the uh, beach volleyball here. That is, uh, people can come and play. Um, but it's raining right now, so I wouldn't recommend that. And then here we have the camping site. Then that is where we come after canoeing. Uh, we can see uh, many people standing here already. And if we turn around here, we can see the canoes that we have built. And that is the bridge that we have to cross to reach the other side of the lake. Now, if we turn around and we can see this area here, that is where we have built um, lots of life jackets inside with the help of canoes as well, uh, so that people can get them. And safety is always the uh, first priority. And that is the coach on the pedestal, who tells us also all about what we have to do before we start canoeing. Now here, uh, this is the path that leads us to the reception, so let's quickly go through it. It feels wonderful when we walk in through the forest and uh, the vibes are really great. And you can see we're nearing by. Now, uh, towards that side, uh, yep, that is our reception. So we have started building like the interior as well right now and uh, we'll be covering this place up by making more things here so uh, let's just go see what we have built outside that there is logo of peace pala and we can see uh, it looks a little bit similar to what exactly the new reception of peace pala is and uh, if we go inside we can see how uh, similar it looks like like we have the seating places here uh, people can get by things uh, have some break and then we'll be making swimming pools here, we'll be making ice skating rings, and uh, that is still work in progress. So let's move out and let's see what else we have in here. We can go towards that side, and here we have the rock climbing wall that we have to make right now, but uh, we're going to be adding some roof as well to it. And behind that is the uh, football court, and what is so interesting about this is it is covered. So uh, no matter if it's raining or not, you can play 24-7 over here. Right? No rain, it's all clear. Let's move out and then we'll move towards the cottages and we'll show you what we've built there as well. Um, let's put some night vision because it's uh, turning out. 
and so that people can see it clearly. Right, so we go ahead, uh, that side, that side, a little bit, yep. Behind, behind. It's okay, here. This side, yeah. you can see. Yep, this side. Okay. And that is the road that we have built, and here we'll have some signs of to where to go. It's empty right now, but we'll add some places there. Now here are the cottages that we have built. So they are like all from our own imagination, how we think they might look like. So we have different kinds of cottages that we have built. People come, have some staycation, and then also enjoy lots of activities here at Peace Pillar. So that's exactly what we have built for now. We keep on working day by day together. And it is a wonderful experience working like together and creating things, sharing ideas. Um, how has it been for you, Maria, building this world? Uh, it, it has been very fun and really uh, creative thing to do. Yeah. That's and a new experience. That's nice. So we hope you enjoyed watching Peace Pula and like we said, it will be forever a work in progress because people can join here again and again, students can join here again and again, do activities, enjoy, build more, add to our world so that this can be a place where learning never ends. Thank you.